Okay, so today for this episode of Fazbear Gaming, this is going to be the start of Spring Traps 3 Fazbear Gaming Marathon. And for this first bit here, for this first episode of the Fazbear Gaming Marathon, um, he is going to be investigating a house. house. But not but not just any house. It's pretty much going to be a house in a Return to the Factory 2, the McGroy House. Anyone gets this message? Uh, my name is Richard McCroy, and I've got a job request to your team. You see, uh, our family's on vacation, right? So I'm afraid we need someone to watch over our house for uh, about a week, I'd say. That's why I called you guys, of course. I heard your queue was pretty good at keeping buildings secure, so it would be greatly appreciated if you were to watch over our house. Just. To make sure nothing goes wrong, you know? Okay. Well, that should be it. Just don't break anything or make the house a mess and make sure no one does the same. <laughs> Thank you in advance. End message. Uh, okay. Bye. Uh, wait, who was that? Wait, who? Oh, oh, that was. Okay, okay, I guess that was. His name was Richard McCroy, so... What in the... Wow, this is a nice little entrance area. What is that? What is this right here? Uh, hello? You uh, there? Oh, thank uh, goodness. Yes. You had me really worried. Why? Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Max Peterson, and I've been at Safe and Security for a few years by now. But that's not important. Listen up, because whatever you do, you need to get out of there. I, I know do. you were told to watch the house over the week because the family went on vacation, but whoever told that to you, I'm sure they were trying to make you fall for a ruse. Listen, there's been reports of the house being very haunted, and despite what that man said, nobody's been living there for years. 
Oh, really? All right, listen carefully. I Don't trick. try to find the exit now. Wait until the morning. Whatever ghosts okay. are haunting that house could probably try to mess with your head. They could even make you go crazy. Heck, if it's bad over there, you could see the exit as another room or interpret the layout of the house completely different. Oh, Use heavens for the camera you installed around the house. Use them wisely. That pad can only view cameras for a limited amount of time at once. Watch the power meter so you don't have to charge it all up if it dies out. For tonight, just stay where you are for the night. Also, please don't stop that house. That could be very, very dangerous. I could come over to the house if I wanted to, but... But what might happen might be worse than moving around during the night. Really? Listen, man, just use those cameras and stay safe in there. You should be at the grand entrance of the house, yeah? All right. Now listen up. This is what you need to know. Ghosts will try to hunt you down by wandering around the building. And if they attack you inside there, uh, it won't end well. I remember our crew investigated that house a few years ago. If I remember correctly, there should be a door to your left and one to your right. If a ghost should enter your room through the left, quickly look away to the right of the room. Don't use your camera. Just wait until they're gone. You don't want to make eye contact with certain ghosts in certain areas, understand? mysterious ambiance today, but uh, so so I'm so it's like I'm spending the night in this nice little lovely large room here. I whoever that is, I don't I don't remember seeing him before. I forgot about my meter. Whoops. Alright, so... I barely heard the... I heard the rest... I barely heard the rest of the phone guy because... Uh, I couldn't really hear the rest of it because the... Because the... Because someone was trying to open the door that went inside this room that I'm in. This is where I'm recording. So I don't know what to do. I'm not sure how you Okay, it's just okay, it's just the battery or I guess that really so so it looks like when it really goes down when I lose battery, it needs to take time to charge up. Very is, is, is that little what well what's almost pause mouse that
that uh, there's like two doors. One to my left and one to my right. So, and he said that if someone appears right here, which I'm assuming that little man or whoever he was, was the one I'm supposed to be looking away from. But then if someone comes out on this side, I need to put the camera up. Well, I did not need to pull up the task bar. You know, first my house abandoned, like... Whoa, hi there. You're... I don't even know who that is. Or, or who he is. But he, but he does... But, but he does sort of... Like, I'm trying to think. I see... I see Boxy's playthrough and... Well, I see both Boxy and Roxy's playthrough, so... Where they play through... This is 
freaking kitchen. Alvin. What? Hello, Edward? Oh, it's you. Good job surviving the night yesterday. Whoa. I was so worried about you, but you survived. So good job. Okay. All right. Did you hide in a different room? I don't know. Like I told it's you. All right for me. Hi, I don't why so is it a oven, but okay? Kitchen, huh? Not bad. However, as you have probably noticed, the lighting in there is fairly bright. So if anyone enters that room, they might notice what are these? Listen, tonight you'll have to react fast. If I recall correctly, there's an old fashioned furnace somewhere in there. While we were investigating that house, uh. someone turned on that oven and smoke just filled the room. The fuel in the oven ran out before anyone could be in serious danger from the smoke, though. Hmm. That's what I want you to use tonight. Sure, the room may be large and well lit, but if you let smoke fill the room, it should blind and confuse any ghosts that walk in. Okay. You'll have to be careful about how much fuel the oven has. However, there should be some spare lumps of coal lying around. Use oh, those coal. wisely. Don't waste them. Anyways... Keep watching those security cameras and stay safe. Good night. Okay, so if someone enters the kitchen, then I just need to use the oven to fill to, to, to fill the room up with smoke. But the phone that I did say I had to be quick though. Need that one. Then that one mess up and it's game over. Okay, I, I do not like that on the right. The should remind me if I have to... If I see anybody in the kitchen, should I just keep my camera pad down at this point? Because I'm like, when I need to use the camera pad to avoid getting seen. But some... What is this, night two? In this room, I have to use the oven to also avoid being seen. What did they leave? Oh, that person left. So it does work like that. Okay. Because that's good to know. So, okay, so just like the phone guy said, if I use the oven, he'll fill the room with black smoke, and then I won't be able to see anything. Alright, this is working fine. I'm learning. Okay. Oh, Scott, I need I, I to really watch my fuel bar, because it looks like if that goes down, then... I don't know if he's a coffin, but looking right here, I do see three um, lumps of coal here. Why should I use one? Ah, okay, that worked. Okay, but I only have three, so I have to use these wisely. So I just used one that, and that just took one away. So, 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 so that must be they're right. What the scrap? I can't. I was trying to cook on the oven. Boswell's got stuck! What in the scraps? Conference mass fails! Well, okay. That's okay. At least I now know what to do in the kitchen. Jin. So, uh, okay, so if anyone appears in the room, room, I just need to use, I just need to click on the oven, fill in the room up with black smoke, and then it should make that, and it should make one to make one person disappear at a time. Which... Which kind of it looks like I guess makes sense as to avoid being seen, of course, but... I've got, I've got to use it wisely, though. Otherwise, but otherwise, by me using it. Yeah, just kind of waste out the fuel bar. Or so. Alright. And hopefully I can get through this if Paul's mouse doesn't get stuck. That was really weird. Okay. Uh, okay, thanks so very much. The way you have it, the way that you know that they're gone, it, that this, that these ghosts can be gone is, if you're using the oven, by your door sound, then that means that they've left. 
Which it looks like it makes sense, so... Alright, I think I'm with two. Oh, I gonna say, I actually do like this kitchen or so. This kitchen does look nice. Uh, I, I, I have so much wish our kitchen and the bathroom and the gaming studios. It's kind of like this little, you know? Be so cool. still there? All right. Well, remember what I said. For your safety, don't try to wander and escape the house during the night, yeah? So, you're in the family parlor tonight, huh? Well, that shouldn't be a problem then. You've got the lamp flickering and... Uh, what? What is that? Come again? You'd say the lamp isn't on. Oh dear. Well, I don't exactly know why that's the case, but you're in luck. Similar to your camera system, that lamp also runs on battery power, but be careful. That lamp can recharge on its own, but if you let the battery drain completely, there's no hope in making it work again. Alright, listen up. There's a door behind the couch that leads to the entryway, and a big door on the left that leads into the kitchen and pantry area. Tonight you're going to have to use your cameras well. Ghosts tend to be pretty sneaky in dark areas, so if anyone were to enter the room through the door on the right, they would probably try to hide behind the couch. This is where I would use the lamp. If you think there's a ghost behind the couch and you leave the lamp on for a few seconds, it should drive the ghost away from the room, got it? But then there's the double door on the left. Ugh. If anyone comes from there, I'd say if you see a ghost on camera in the kitchen and pantry area, or any rooms near it, stare at them on the camera until they leave. Smaller ghosts often get shy when they are watched. Be careful tonight, man. Okay, so... If... Oh, oh scrap it, I do not want to use that, okay. So... So if someone is hiding back there, I need to try this lamp and it should drive them away. And... And the phone back also said that if someone comes in the pantry, you need to stare at them. Wait. Oh, this is a pantry, okay. Oh. Oh, I'm not going to stare at anything if my camera battery died. <sighs> okay, it's... You, that's... Oop. Uh oh. No, come on. Hey. Come on. Okay, this one. Wait. I 
not see them on the pantry yet. noise as we can to wake it up. After all, you probably are the one. If you truly the are, one. let's have a little revenge, huh? <laughs> I must say, your work has been very impressive. But don't worry, we'll end your turn very shortly. <laughs> Sorry about that late call, man. Had some crazy paperwork to finish, you know, man? Whew! Now, where are you at tonight? Well, wait a minute. Did you just say a ghost is in the room with you? Sleeping. Oh, man. Well, tonight you're going to have to do right everything here. very quietly. Do not wake the ghost up in there, whatever you do. So I imagine you're in the parents' bedroom, right? Well then, if anyone were to come in through the door, where you'll see them in the large mirror there, the only defense is... Oh god, a loud static noise. Oh no, this isn't good at all. This 
Just this listen up carefully now. You can turn on the noise by hitting the button in the room, but you have to search for the off button in the camera system tonight. Whatever camera the button is in changes every time you use it too, so you need to switch those cameras fast tonight and find that off button as fast as you can. Good night, man. Stay safe in there. Okay. Turn noise on. So, okay, so, okay, so I turn this noise on, it actually turns the sound on, that's, I heard that, okay, okay, but, okay, I can turn this noise on, but, but I can, I'm, 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 I can only turn it on if someone peers in, like, if I see someone in this mirror, I need to turn this on, but then I need to turn it off, that's what we hear.
hey, you're still hanging around that place, huh? Well, I don't know, man. Just do your best. I'm sure your mind is starting to really mess with you now. Okay, well, where'd you hide now? Um, what? What did you say? The cellar. What do you mean? The house doesn't have a cellar, right? When we took a peek at the house, we had tons of staff come over to investigate it, and not one of them found any trace of a cellar. Have you gone insane or something? Hang on, listen up now. Uh, I know this is something I've been telling you not to do this whole time, but after a few hours have passed, move to another area in that basement. But for now, just remember the eye contact I mentioned, yeah? Oh, uh, weird. Someone's outside our building. Uh, see ya. Just stay very careful. Okay. So I can put up my camera while that one else would last. So I can put up my camera and that, and this will show where I'm at. It doesn't show the map of the house anymore. Really interesting. Just wanted to give another call. You in a different part of the basement there? All right. What's it like? Oh, a, a boiler in there. Well, well, like I said, man, I don't know what it's like down there. Just make that boiler scare them somehow. Listen, I'm gonna zoom that area myself. The crazy man on the news is at the company door. I, I might not be around for much long. Oh, who do we have here? You look so much like. 
like. The Are you the one? Are you the one? Are you the one? Let's find out! Oops! That was not my face! Turns out he wasn't the one! But you... You... You must be him! You are the one! It's you. Let me come over myself! I'll make sure you take that myself! Once and for all! That's like who scraps you are! Uh, hey, sorry, dude. Uh, I, can't, I couldn't see who was there. Um, wait, actually, wait. Okay, yeah, I can't. This is. Wait. My, my listeners are gonna just spam this at home. This is like the only thing I can use to scare off the ghosts that will come across me. Oh, I saw someone there. I think if I just spam this, it'll be fine. I just need to spam this, I think. And that's gonna keep them away. That's what some guy said, Lord. No! Stop blasting on my screen! That's... that's... impossible! 
It wasn't you, Eifer. You two what? look so alike. We, we, we will make him apologize. What he did, what we did, wasn't enough. We, we, we will keep searching for him forever! Maybe like no room or no 
guess. Um, pictures, I guess, for Ashley and Yoshi and the new one. Oh, oh not one for Dr. Hong either.
Um, is it like we can skip this? Um, old house tonight, huh? Well, do you remember oh, when I said that you were in the room? Ah, perfect. Which room did you hide in? What? The bathroom, I see. That's a good spot. But notice how that this? room is pretty small. Alright, listen up now. I think you're going to have to use the bathroom sink in there to your advantage. Wait, the bathroom there? door is Wait, left swinging open please? for whatever reason, so there's two ways that you to be able to spot the next to you. Either you'll see a shadow of a ghost projected on the window, or you'll see their reflection in the mirror on the right. Alright, listen carefully now. If you see a shadow on the window, use the hot water. However, if you see a ghost reflection in the mirror, use cold water instead. And if anyone's in that bathroom with you, don't stop running the water until they are gone, got it? Listen, just stay alert, check those security cameras until the sun rises. That should be it really, so... Good night. Be careful. Okay. Right. The only part I understood was cold. This this one is this game that's a little cold water. Temperature. Oh wow. Okay, so this brings Oh, wow, so, oh, wow, okay, so that shh. Okay, so much of so that looks like when I, looks, looks like when I messed this, was with any of these, I messed it with the temperature. So, uh, I'm not really sure this guy would come in here. But, but I guess I see someone in the mirror, then I think the, I think the phone guy said use cold water. I'm gonna use some of yours in the window, I think. Use hot or. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Okay, so, wait, who was that? I think that was 
of Wario. Right, Wario, okay, I need to remember the names. So is, so is Wario's Cold Water. The only who comes in here is going to be Yoshi Waluigi. Who? Show yourself, whoever you're, whoever you are, coming to that window. Our company's been pretty busy today, had a lot of requests for our employees to handle. Uh, Makes me happy we have people like you around, right? What's up with these cameras? Anyways, Why are they black? what's the house like over there? Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're saying the power cut out. That's not good. Alright, alright, look. Where are you tonight? Ooh, the old study. Yes, good choice. On that desk is an old lantern that runs on lamp oil. Other than that... There isn't really much to protect yourself with, so I want you to use that lamp as your form of defense tonight. Uh, keep in mind that the lamp won't exactly last forever. The amount of light it gives off will become smaller and smaller. Only use it if you think someone is for sure in your room. If someone is standing in there with you to the left or right, just shine the light on their face for a few seconds, and they should go away. Because of the blackout, I don't think you'll be able to see the rooms all too well, but hey! A pad has the ability to detect audio. You'll be able to hear ghosts if the rooms are cut black. But since you're currently in a blackout, I doubt you'd be able to charge your pad back up, right? Oh well. Just be careful on how much you use it, because if your pad runs out of energy, you won't know where the ghosts are, but since there's a thunderstorm tonight, that might be helpful. Oh, by the way, check out what I found lying on the ground. It seems to be an old formula for a special type of hamburger. A place called Wario's. You don't see stuff like this every day, huh? Well, anyways, no. good night. Okay, so if I think that, so I need to listen to, um, so, so I need to listen to, um, the cameras for audio. Without telling me. <laughs> Okay, I am not sure who exactly that is, but I need to listen. Okay, 
that's a really disturbing sound. Though, if I think anyone's close, then... Yes, it's you. How you been? You're still trying to escape that old place, are you? Before you ask, I'm sorry, but you can't come over to that house. It'll simply make things go terribly wrong. Now, where are you tonight? What? The, the dining room? Bonkers. Uh, that's not a really good choice, man. I mean, the room is pretty big, and there's a whopping four ways to enter the room. Four ways? Uh, but... Since the room is so large, sound should echo across the room. Hang on, I've got an idea. If someone were to emerge from the I darkness on the right, try spamming the pad up and down, up and down, the echo the pad makes should eventually drive the ghost away. They probably wouldn't even notice you at first being covered in darkness and all, but I'd start to spam as quickly as possible. As for that left door, um... Oh, the closet. To your left, there's a big closet you can hide in. Whatever you do, if you believe a ghost went inside the room from the room on the left, the, uh, the kitchen, I should say, rush inside the closet as fast as you can. And while you're in there, don't move. Leave the closet open a peek so you can see them run by and shut the door behind them. Just stay perfectly still. But hey, want to hear something interesting? There's been people reporting a strange pink figure wandering around town. Weird, isn't it? 
I assume it was just crazy people, man. There hasn't been any photo or video evidence of any kind. Interesting how things have been popping up the same day you went here. Oh, uh, anyways, have a good night. Okay, but what about the mirror? Okay, um, so I guess if someone comes in through here, or attempts to come through, I need to go on the closet fast. If someone, I guess, appears maybe right here, then I need to stand this up and down multiple times. I think that going shoots the scare. Um, no way. I think it just depends, like, I think it just depends on, like, who's going to be coming now. you down faster than ever before. Get ready! <laughs> Three cameras like red cameras eight, hey, one, how you two. been? You still there, it's aren't you? Wow, close. I can't believe it. You must feel like a security guard or something. Anyways, apologies uh, for the late call. There's been tons of crazy activity going around and everything. Police have been going crazy over a man named Richard. Huh. Anyways. Let's focus on the house. Where are you tonight? Richard. The game room, huh? Alrighty then. Ooh, that's a fun one. When we were in that house a few years ago, someone found out you can throw pool balls into this special machine. It would read the number ball you threw in and make noise accordingly. Pretty neat, right? You know the drill by now. That's your defense tonight. If someone were to this enter your defense. room, open the cabinet, select a numbered pool ball, and throw one in. The noise it makes should not only make ghosts go away from that room, but also delay them for a while depending on what number you chose. Neat, huh? However, I should warn you, certain ghosts will probably be lured by that noise. And if they were to enter your room, just flip the pad up and down again. Got it? Oh okay. yeah, I should probably tell you this. We weren't sure why, but the 8-ball emits this really weird sound when you throw it in. But hey, that could be good. It can make the ghost maybe forget where you are if you get what I mean. You got all that, man? Good. Have a safe night. Okay, wow, so this is like a really cool room that I'm in. It also kind of looks like a bar almost, to say the least. Is it like a bar stand or something? I'm not sure, but 
I have vanquished the Agath whose battery and Steve had given me. You're so you know. You're really cool. But okay, I guess if a certain ghost comes inside, you need to throw um, a numbered ball inside this big machine over here, and I'll send them wherever they're going. Jeez. I guess like a nice, clever way to avoid them. Thanks. Someone entered. Six. Both of them. Awareness. That's a weird sound. I had awareness right there. Is that bad? Wait. Oh wait, I think that means maybe that they're the, I think that means that they're gonna be coming into my room. I mean that I need to be fast, look like another ball as soon as they enter. But the funk I also did something did say something about this eight ball. Which I could see it, but I don't know what it's gonna do though. Oh, I'm gonna need to only use them whenever I, whenever I run out of balls. Outnumbered balls. said that one by one that uh, someone's gonna get attracted by its sound. Okay, how was I supposed to look away? Like, I didn't even 
to. He was on the other side of me. Watching the scraps. For what he did to us. I. Yeah. I can feel it. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. He, he gave us for forgiveness. It brought peace to both him and us. Our curse is finally gone. I feel. I, I feel. Relieved.